We're on video five of this series, and uh, we made some variables on the last video. Now then, let's see what we're going to do with those variables, right? Let's get into the code here. So now that we've made these variables, what are we going to do with them? Well, we need to assign some data to these variables, right? Where are we going to get that data from? We're going to get it from our user. And how are we going to get it from them? By using the scanner that we made in a couple of videos ago, all right? So let's create our scanner like we did before. Now, I may have misspoke on last time. So whenever I type scanner here, okay, that's actually the type, okay? It's kind of like a data type, like a string, a double, but this is going to be a scanner, okay? Then we name it. This is going to be a new one. This is going to be a new instance of a scanner, okay? So check it out. I can do this right here. Scanner system dot in, okay? Now then I can make a second instance of a scanner, okay? I can call this one scanner again. And that's a new one. So now I've got two instances. They're both different. So if I put some data in and use them, they'll hold different kinds of data, okay? <clears throat> so we need to make our scanner. Now then, we need to ask a question like we did earlier. So let's do a system, out, print line, and let's ask a question. So it's asking us, how many beers have we had? How many glasses of wine have we had? How many shots have we had, okay? Now we need to make a variable, okay? So let's make it a double. It's gonna be our scanner, right? So this is gonna be our volume scanner, okay? We can clarify that. You can always change these. Volume input. So this is what's coming in to the program. Is equal to uh, scanner dot Next, double. See? And it completes it for us. Now then, whatever I type into it, okay, it's going to store it in volume input. All right, so what do we got? We got volume input, volume. Well, we need to assign this to this, right? This is what I was talking about earlier with the assigning a variable to a variable, right? Now then, I could have made this volume, but what happens? Oh, I already got a variable declared volume. So we can do this. Now then, it is giving me a warning here. It's saying it's a redundant assignment. Okay. So let's just make that new one again. Now just for the example, we're going to assign volume input to volume, right? So volume is equal to volume input. There we go. Now we've uh, put some data into volume up here right? But it's red because we haven't used it yet. So let's use it. System out. Print line. You entered. Right? Now what they enter? Volume. But here's the thing. How am I going to display that after it? Okay. Because if I just do volume, right? Oh, it's going to give me a... It's going to say, that's not right. It's expecting something. So what's it expecting? A plus. The plus is not addition in this aspect, okay? It's what's called concatenation. That means I am putting this string here. I'm concatenating it to this variable. Or I am placing it on the end, this variable on the end of this string. Now, if I didn't put a space in here, it'd put it right up against that semicolon. So if I want a space, I gotta put the space at the end, okay? Now let's run this and see what happens. How many drinks have you had? Two. You entered 2.0, all right? Now then if I would have said, how many drinks have you had? Two and a half. You enter two and a half. See? So now then we are inputting our data and displaying it back out. 
All right. So stay tuned for the next video. We'll finish this up on our inputs, and uh, we'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.